Hey everybody, it's Jericho Kenobi, and if you're hearing my voice, that means it's time for another VoxBot video. The VoxBot. Make your voice heard. Hey everybody, it's Jericho Kenobi coming at you live from Fort Worth, Texas in Jericho Kenobi Studios for TheVoxBot.com. Now today, we're going to do a quick how to record, edit, master and get that voiceover to your client. We're going to do real simple and easy and we're going to be using Adobe Audition 2019 or Adobe Audition 12 if uh, you want to be technical about it. Okay, we love being technical. All righty, here we go. We're in Adobe Audition CC 2019. We are going to go to here in the files, new audio file. We want a mono. If yours says stereo, click here and make it mono. Name it. I'm just going to name ours J Kenobi dash the date 11 15 2018, and we're good to go. Now, before we get started, one thing we want to do we want to capture five seconds of room tone. Why? Because we're going to do some noise reduction. So let's go ahead and capture five seconds of room tone, then audio, then done. Let's do it. Hey everybody, it's Jericho Kenobi at Jericho Kenobi Studios for TheVoxBot.com. This is just a test voiceover to show you how to record, edit, master, and send your voiceover to your client. Now, you're going to notice I also did five seconds of room tone at the end. And let me show you why right now. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and do noise reduction. Now, remember, you can do noise reduction a lot of different ways. I'm going to show you my favorite way of doing noise reduction, which is using RX6 Spectral Denoise. Why not RX7? Because they're exactly the same. I asked Isotope, exactly the same algorithm. So here we go. We're going to capture a section of only noise. I've got it hot keyed. Bring it up. Click Learn. Play. Captures that noise print. Make sure you stop it before it reaches the end or else you might get an audible click. Unclick Learn. Unclick there so you get the whole thing. Click Apply. Now watch what happens. That noise is gone, baby. Nothing is down there where we saw around 100 hertz or whatever. It's gone now. We're going to remove the front and back by using Select Delete. And now we are going to edit this. So how do we want to edit it? We can either do this the easy way or the hard way. Some people like to use lots of plugins, get real deep, do all kinds of craziness to it. We think you keep it nice and simple. And nice and simple is noise reduction, then you do an EQ, then you master it. Okay, so now we've done the noise reduction. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a EQ. We're going to use FabFilter Q2. Bring it up. There it is. I've already got my settings. You can pause if you want to check them out. That's good for me. Maybe not great for you. Play around with your EQ. Play with it a little bit. See how it feels. All right? All right, here we go. Click Apply. Bam, there we are. Now, how do we master this? A lot of people think mastering means normalization. They are not the same thing. Normalizing is taking your audio's peak volume and setting it to whatever the peak volume you want it to be is okay or wherever you want that peak volume it will set it there the percentage change between where it was and where it went will be applied across the spectrum it does not control loudness and that is a big distinction because loudness has to do with the actual loudness surprisingly of the audio and there are plenty of different standards spotify youtube they've all got different standards right even the acx the exchange for amazon audiobooks has its own so the way we're going to do this is within adobe audition we're going to actually take our audio file and we're going to go to match loudness if you don't have match loudness come up here to window zippity doo da match loudness click it it will show up all right i've already got it here I'm going to grab my audio file from the file section and I'm going to throw it down here where it says drag and drop supported media. Bam, there it is. Now the settings. You can set it lots of different ways. There's ITUR BS 1770-3, which is an international. 
Couple other ones, EBU R128 is European. There's Total RMS, that's for ACS Exchange if you're doing that. There's a couple of other legacy ones, but we're gonna go here and we're gonna normalize it. Let's do it to, uh, let's try 18 LUFs. How about that, okay? And we're gonna give it a tolerance of 0.25. That means plus or minus 0.25 LUFs around 18, minus 18 is where we're gonna throw it. And then we also get the max peak. So same as normalization, we can set where we want that maximum peak to be. We want it to be at minus 0.1. If we want to give it a little bit of extra headroom, we'll do minus one. It's, this is a little bit of a tricky one. I have problems with this button. So sometimes you just type it in, click, type, you're done. Uh, look ahead and release, same as compressors. If you're familiar with them, we're not going to get into that. You've got it now. So just go ahead and click run, or you can click export settings if you want to send it right out. But we're going to run it so that it actually applies it to this audio. There it is. Let's take a listen to our final audio. Hey everybody, it's Jericho Kenobi at Jericho Kenobi Studios for TheVoxBot.com. This is just a test voiceover to show you how to record, edit, master, and send your voiceover to your client. Now, if you're interested, I'm going to quickly jump back and show you what it sounded like at the beginning so that you can hear the difference. If you're not interested, you're done. Get out of the video. Thanks for joining. So here we go, back to the beginning. We go back in the history and click record at the very beginning. This was our original audio. Listen closely, you might hear the noise. Hey everybody, it's Jericho Kenobi. All right, did you hear that noise? If you did, you won't hear it anymore now. Hey everybody, it's Jericho Kenobi. All righty, now let's jump forward to the equalization stage. Hey everybody, it's Jericho Kenobi. All righty, now last step was match loudness. You already heard this one. Do it again. Hey, everybody, it's Jericho Kenobi at Jericho Kenobi Studios for TheVoxBot.com. This is just a test voiceover to show you how to record, edit, master, and send your voiceover to your client. Done. Now, how do we send it? Right up here, file. Zippity doo down to export file. Now, here's where you got to be a little bit careful. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to give you the, the file name that you gave it originally, and then it's going to put something after it because you did that match audio or match loudness. So if you want, you can lop that off. Now, mine is set to MP3 because the last thing I did was an audition for Voices.com, and they like MP3s. That's probably because they're smaller audio files and they get lots of them. Okay, so we don't want an MP3, right? We want a lossless audio file, so we're going to go wave. Now, be careful here because it will always use the last setting. There is no way to use some kind of an XML file or a template to actually make it do some type of saved save setting. Does that make sense, right? You always have whatever was there last and you've got to manually change whatever you want it to. That's how we want it. It's there. It's going to click, we're going to click OK. Bam, it's on the desktop. Now it's on the desktop. It is ready to go to your client, however you're going to send it to them. You're going to email it to them, whatever you're going to do. It is ready to go. So we have, we have opened Adobe Audition 2019 12.0. We have created a new file. We have recorded. We have edited using noise reduction and using EQ. And then we have mastered it to the correct loudness that we want it to be at. Again, if you're doing a podcast, that's really important, okay? Podcasters, make sure your loudness is correct. All right, so we've got that done. We saved it as a wave. That's lossless. We're ready to fire it off to our client. That's it, everybody. Thank you for joining us here on VoxBot Videos. And remember, I'm Jericho Kenobi. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and subscribe, leave comments. We got tons of great stuff coming in the queue for you, but we are always open to whatever it is you'd like us to do. This is Jericho Kenobi from Jericho Kenobi Studios for VoxBot Videos. Remember, make your voice heard.